It's Wednesday, May 11th. We are sticking with food delivery today. DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub. Let's get our first order. Our first order of the day is for Chick-fil-A. I'm pulling in right now, 836. 4.2 miles. The mileage is a little high for uh, not being able to see where I'm going, but just wanted to start off with something uh, pretty high. I think we're also gonna be heavily DoorDash today. Okay, this drop off could be better, but I'm not complaining. The order was ready, and so I feel like that's half the battle already. We're gonna do things a little bit differently today in terms of multi-apping. Usually, I let my apps run uh, while I am making a delivery for a different app, so like on that Uber Eats order, like I would have had DoorDash and Grubhub running, but right now we are gonna do things differently. And so we are gonna have DoorDash and Grubhub completely paused until the end of that delivery. And then we will unpause everything and see what the best order is. This will be a little more like stress-free and hopefully it'll help you beginners who have been asking me questions in my comment section about how multi-apping works and if it's too stressful or chaotic to run all these apps at the same time. So I will only be running one app total until I have the delivery completely dropped off. After that Chick-fil-A Uber Eats drop off, I didn't have time to uh, activate myself on DoorDash and Grubhub because we got this order for $19. It is just going to one restaurant, two orders. Uh, I, one of them is six items, one of them is five items. And so this $19 could turn out to be a little bit more. I'm uh, really happy with this one. And I didn't have to worry about like trying to figure out what the best order is on DoorDash and Grubhub. I just know that this one is going to make me more than $30 an hour. That's what I'm always really looking for. The 10 miles, yeah, that, that is a lot, but this early into a shift, I don't really care where I end up. Uh, I always like to end up in the same spot at the end of my shift, but right now at the beginning, it doesn't really matter. Wherever it puts me, I'll just accept orders from there. When I walked in there, I noticed they had a ton of orders just sitting there. I don't know how many of them are for delivery companies and how many of them are for like online pickup, but that was a lot. So I'm glad I went to this restaurant because I don't like waiting for orders. So now I got both of them in my Grubhub hot bags. I wish I had an Uber Eats hot bag, that would be cool, but they'd never sent me one. So now let's go drop it off. The first customer is only 2.3 miles away, which is so nice which means the second customer is going to be extremely far. That first drop off was pretty easy. And now we are going, what did it say? Like six and a half miles to customer number two. Not ideal because it is far, but I think I can get there pretty fast. And uh, it's dropping me off kind of close to another hotspot. If there was a hidden tip, I will put it up on the screen. I'm hoping there is, but if not, that's not really a big deal. So then after I dropped off the Uber Eats order, I activated myself on DoorDash and almost immediately I got this massive payout. The mileage is high, but it's actually okay because it's almost all freeway mileage and it's bringing me back near an area I'm more familiar with. And so I just decided to go for it. I really don't think I missed out on anything you know, because usually I would like activate myself on DoorDash and Grubhub about like, three minutes away from the Uber Eats drop off, but I didn't miss out on anything by not doing that. Like it was a lot less stressful because I was like, okay, just focus on the drop off and then you can unpause yourself. And I did that and uh, I got this order and I know I can complete it in like less than 30 minutes. And so I'd say it's a great order. Well, this order is not gonna be delivered <laughs> in 30 minutes. 30 minutes is right now, and I am just pulling out of the restaurant parking lot. This is insane. I was in there for like 20 minutes, I think, like at least 20 minutes, because when I got in there, I was like, oh, I have a DoorDash order, and they're like, okay, yeah, I mean, we're just uh, finishing it up. It'll take like a couple minutes, and I'm like, and they said they were gonna just wait on one more item. And I'm like, well, that's great. That's fantastic. I'll only be waiting here maybe like two or three minutes and then be, I'll be off to the customer. Well, uh, I was just sitting there waiting, 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 and I could not activate myself on Uber Eats and Grubhub because that is a part of the test today. Usually, if I have been waiting for like five minutes and I don't think they're gonna get the order ready like in the next minute, then I will activate myself on Uber Eats and Grubhub to try to look for a better order but I was not allowed to do that. 
maybe I could have unassigned this one, but I decided against it because it's a big payout and it's going in the direction I want to go. This order is going to take 45 minutes for $17.50. That is not what I'm going for here. Okay, let's answer some questions about that delivery. Was I paid $17.50 or was there a hidden tip? No hidden tip, just $17.50. How long did it take? About 50 minutes. So <laughs> probably the only order I'm going to do for an hour. And uh, was it worth it? No. Would it have been worth it if I waited five minutes instead of 25 in the restaurant? Probably, yeah, it would have been worth it. Okay, so we turned on all three apps, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and Uber Eats was the first one to send me a good offer. So this one is for Cafe Rio for almost $8 and three miles. And with the bonus that I actually get to see upfront addresses, if I accept this one, I'll see them on my next offer. So that's always exciting. I just had to wait a few minutes in Cafe Rio to receive my order. And I'm kind of glad that I did have to wait because as soon as I was ready to swipe that I picked it up, I got a Jersey Mike's order. And this Jersey Mike's is not very good. <laughs> well, at least on DoorDash. I don't think I've really accepted that many on Uber Eats before. So I was like, hey, it's Uber Eats. Uber Eats usually has the orders ready more often than DoorDash. So sure, let's just go to Jersey Mike's. And the order was ready. It was sitting there on the counter waiting for me to pick it up. And so now I have two orders, both of them around seven, eight dollars. And so $15 for these two deliveries and neither of them are very far. That was a really enjoyable two orders from Uber Eats. Got $15 for those two. And then we drove back to the hot spot and ended up accepting this wildflower order. It's 875, but the Para app tells me that they are extremely confident. It's going to be $10 total for this one. So let's head over to the restaurant and pick it up. I gotta say, it's been a pretty stress-free day so far. I mean, all I've been doing is accepting orders and uh, picking them up from the restaurants, dropping off at customers. I do not really have to worry about like switching between all my different apps while I'm trying to drive on the road. If you're getting into multi-apping with these food delivery apps, I would suggest try out DoorDash and Uber Eats together. And then when uh, you get an order, just pause the other one. And then when you drop off that order, activate yourself on both apps and just try to find the best order at that time when you are looking for one. Para knew it was gonna be $10. And so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna trust you. And it was, so. Very happy about that. Now we're going to activate ourselves on Uber Eats and Grubhub. Let's just see what we get. Definitely not the absolute best order I could have received, but it's 550 for 0.8 miles. So I'm gonna have to uh, deliver this one. Since there weren't a ton of orders coming through right now, I was like, you know what? Like 550 is decent as long as this delivery only takes about 10 minutes. This might be an instance where I would usually not even decide to turn off Uber Eats or Grubhub because the restaurant was just right next to me when I accepted it and this apartment complex is just down the road. And so I might even just continue to run those apps and then I might even accept something before I'm even like on my way to the delivery because I know it's a two minute drive. I just feel like that would save me a couple minutes if I am able to accept the order while I'm still on the DoorDash delivery. Uh, so maybe I'm missing out on some earnings there. But again, if you decide to use the strategy, you're really not losing out on too much. So nothing special about that Cafe Rio order, but I did get 550 for about 10 minutes, maybe 11 or 12 minutes of work. Something that was very positive was that when I delivered to those apartment complexes, I was still within the hotspot. And so I immediately got an order for Chipotle for $7.25. This one is going less than three miles. So I love it and I'm gonna go pick it up. We got a big one and this could lead to a very nice tip. I'm pretty sure there's a hidden tip on this one 1086 for five miles this one is for black rock coffee and there are 11 drinks on here 11 i have never had that many drinks in one order this is pretty crazy i'm definitely gonna have to make two trips uh, coming out of the store but also wherever i'm dropping this one off this is gonna be wild uh wow and 
this place actually doesn't start making the drinks until you get there so that's actually a problem because i'm gonna be waiting a while but it'll give me a lot of time to read off some of my comments i got in my previous video bobby walker says that they just got their first day making more money on uber eats than they did on doordash i remember when that happened to me i was so excited that uber eats was actually a really great app as long as you get enough orders like this order is great i've had a couple other great ones today and so like some of these orders can just be so much bigger than they can on doordash jane doe says that they're still on the instacart wait list from last year yes yeah, sadly this does happen with these gig apps you just have to make sure that you are signing up for them and uh, i was on the grubhub wait list for a while still on the amazon flex wait list like, just make sure you sign up, even if you don't think you want to drive for them, sign up anyway. And then if you get put on a wait list, then uh, maybe you realize you actually do want to drive for them. And so then you wait until you get accepted. Sign up and then think about it later. They were able to make all the drinks in probably about seven minutes. So by the time I was done talking with you and I used the restroom, the drinks were ready. So I really can't complain. I, I think if I wasn't filming this and I didn't have something to say, then I probably wouldn't have taken this one, but I knew that I needed to film something. And so I'm like, okay, like I, I have time to wait. I had just assumed that this one was going to an office building. Someone just ordered all these drinks for like all of their employees. But no, this one's going to a house. There was some sort of business meeting going on in that house. Uh, I don't know what was going on. I just knew that they had a full setup for like taking pictures. And there were a lot of people in there. So it does make sense that they ordered 11 drinks. Unfortunately, I don't know the tip right now, but I will put it up on the screen and you can see the tip that I got. And uh, hopefully it was more than $8. I'm, I just wanna throw it out there. Maybe it's gonna be like $15. If it was $15, then it was worth the amount of work I put into that one. That big order on Uber Eats does conclude our day. We worked four hours on DoorDash. We made $40.25 over four deliveries. On Uber Eats, we worked six deliveries and made around $60. That comes out to a daily total of around $100 in just four hours, so about $25 an hour. We also drove 68.6 miles today, making our dollar per per mile ratio not as good as it has been previously in this month of may but it's still okay that puts the 11 day may total to around 1330 dollars as always make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok to see a new video from me every single day as well as a new video from me every single day on youtube in this month of may thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow